The new MacBook Pro has just been released and a lot of designers are already like making thoughts and concepts about the new touch bar that you're also seeing on this example right here. Now with the new touch bar you can do a lot of things because it gets rid of the different keys that were on this top line and it also has a touch ID so you can use it for things like Apple Pay in the future or stuff like that. And I'm really looking forward to the feature, but I also I'm kind of um, confused by the pricing of the MacBook and by the components of it. So if you would like me to do a video about my opinion about the new MacBook Pro, then just hit the thumb up button or I'll leave a comment down in the description so I know that you are interested in that. But I would like to talk today about the aspect of the touch bar for sketch and for UI design. Now, you can customize the touch bar to your needs and the app that you are using is able to take full control of the whole touch bar to create a new kind of working experience while working with the touch bar for example using Sketch. And you know, I noticed that Sketch actually made an announcement that they said they will uh, support the new touch bar and in their example on this photo right here, we see that they maybe just did a small prototype or something. But in this uh, like example, they gave us the ability to choose from a certain amount of colors right here. And I guess these colors are just those which you have in this area right there. And I think there will be even more opportunities with this new touch bar in Sketch. So why not just uh, creating a few concepts or a few uh, like designs for this new touch bar, for the UI of this touch bar um, to, to give Sketch or to give you some ideas on what you could use it for. Now I just opened up the screenshot from the Apple website in Sketch and I thought we could simply make a small concept, a prototype basically, of the touch bar. So, for Sketch of course. So actually there should be a Sketch screenshot, but never mind. Uh, we will just customize the touch bar for this prototype. Now that rhymed. Okay, let's get into this. Um, you can do different things. Now on this example right here, we see that the user is able to just swipe through these photos and he's getting a different photo for each frame that he's seeing right there. And we could do a simpler or like a similar uh, feature for the touch bar, which could be for example using the touch bar for changing like the opacity of something to have this bar right here. We could add all kinds of different things to this, touch, to this touch bar and we are starting by just uh, creating a new rectangle and the rectangle will just cover the content which is currently visible on the touch bar so we can actually just create our own cool stuff with it. So create a, a new rectangle and then you simply grab one of these colors that's included. Now we have a full touch bar right here that we can choose and that we can use for example for different things. And as I said we could say we want to change opacity, we want to uh, give something a fill, we could also change this opacity using the touch bar. So you can do a lot of uh, touch and swipe things with the touch bar and one thing that you could actually do is to just say we have the opacity right here. Now give it a like white color or something like that. Like that. And the next thing that we are going to do is to place some kind of bar right here to like for example change the opacity of the current element that is selected. Now what we need is of course like a line that we already have right here and we are of course just doing creating this line 
on our own. For example, like this. So let's add a grid. So to make it, a, oops, let's add a grid using the rulers or basically align the elements using the rulers. So as I said, we are doing a quick prototype and we don't need uh, so many high fidelity pixely stuff. That's why we are only using the rulers for now to get some alignment in there. And as I said, let's make a nice looking bar that is featuring the actual state of the opacity. Now I copied it because I want the bottom bar to be a little bit gray. Oops. Because if it's gray, we are able to actually see if there is like a process going on. So this is the 100% at the end and we are about at 75% or something like that. And of course we have to add an oval to indicate that the user is also able to just scroll with it, to grab it and to do kind of cool things with it. Now, this is like a small feature on this uh, left side of the, na uh, of the touch bar that you could simply implement in Sketch and to simply uh, slide with your finger on the touch bar to actually navigate between the opacity from, for example, 1% or 0% to 100%. You can add different things, um, like as I said, opacity will always work fine and radius could also work just fine because it's also the same mechanic. Uh, we saw in the example that Sketch made on their Twitter that they are using colors. So I was thinking about how you can actually uh, get this color picker tool into the, the, into the touch bar. I'm not really sure if that's really possible, but that would really be like a great example to just use it in a great way. Because of course we could just do something like that and let me just try this out. I'm doing this just live so we can have a like fun experience. Let's just add a gradient and let's change the gradient to be in a horizontal way. And we can simply change the colors to something like about that or we can make it, make it blue or something like that. Uh, we can also add a radius to the actual bar so it's probably looking better like that. And maybe the user is like really able to just pick a color using the circle, the, the oval that we just made. So let's paste it in as well and let's change the size of it to about this size and maybe the user is really just able to tap the circle, the oval, with his finger and in the same way once he's swiping to the right he's able to just change the color that he wants from this red to this uh, Turkish uh, bluish color whatever and this is like also a way that Sketch could actually implement this new touch bar into their apps. And maybe you have different kinds of uh, recommendations for me or for Sketch to actually implement such a task, uh, such a task bar, touch bar, sorry, for their app. Maybe you have a problem and you think you could improve your workflow or solve the problem using the touch bar while working in Sketch, then simply write it down in the comment section. I'm always like saying please write it down in the comment section because I think we have a great discussion there once in a while. And of course you could also use the touch bar for many other cool things. For example we could also say let's uh, put the zoom into touch bar. Of course on the MacBook you can actually just use your trackpad to zoom like you're crazy. 
but maybe the touch bar is also coming to a normal keyboard for the Macs in a few months or years, then we could actually use a Zoom net magnifier that would be kind of nice if you're just working with the magic mouse or something like that. Um, and I think the touch bar can really enhance the user experience. So I hope you enjoyed this small video where we are just creating, where we were just creating a prototype using the new touch bar and talking about some of the aspects of it. And as I said, would you like to see me doing a video about my opinion of the new uh, MacBook Pro? Then just leave a comment down in the video description or hit a thumb up so I can really just see if you are interested in that. I think there are a lot of points that we could talk about that are relevant for us as designers or developers, why the MacBook is good, good or not so good. And yeah, if you're interested in that, just do the things that I already said. Yeah, thanks guys for listening again to this new episode, the new sketch or principle tutorial will be of course on Wednesday, you don't have to miss out on that. And so thank you for your time and enjoy your week. See you!